What is this carved object with a different sized hole at either end? It looks like some kind of carved finless fish with a hole in the mouth and going into the tail. Unclear whether they connect in the middle or not. Not sure of the material. Perhaps from a horn of some sort. The sticker says made in Korea. What kind of creature is it meant to be? Do the holes have a purpose? It appears to be a cigarette holder made of bone or horn. What is this large metal handle inside a bank vault that extends out of the wall, about a foot and a half long? The hair salon I go to used to be a bank, and the vault is still complete, but they use it for storage. They're unsure of what this silver thing on the wall is. It pulls out when you remove the horseshoe-shaped part, and is about a foot and a half long. The hairstylist that owns the place has no clue what it's for, and she let me mess with it to try and figure it out. It's an emergency air pump. If you were accidentally locked in, you turn the handle and air pumps in. What are these screws and washers for around our garage door? We just moved into our house, and this was here from the previous owner. I'm not sure what they could have been used for. All the screws stick out pretty far, about an inch or so, and they all have washers. Perhaps they had a security grill there, and the screws held them on. Maybe a homemade security wire fence secured to the door with those screws and washers. What is this cylindric weight of some sort? Feels like solid metal. 6.4 kilograms and feels like stainless steel. I think it is a weight for something, but for what? And why 6.4 kilograms which is so random? I've tried Google image search, but I could not find something which looks like that. Only things that are pretty close. It seems to be some kind of roller for the lawn that can attach to an Einhell reel mower. It is supposed to roll the grass somewhat flat to the ground to have some kind of lawn stripes. What is this scissor-like device I bought years ago on flea market? At first I thought it was some sort of oyster opener, but it definitely isn't. I found some pictures of regular small scissors with similar handle shapes, but still, this one is a mystery to me. I really like it, and it's sitting on my shelves but people often ask me about it, and I have no answer for them whatsoever. It's a vintage umbilical clamp, that's why it's shaped like a stork. Eventually this style did evolve into several types of embroidery scissors that the midwives would use while awaiting labor. What is this blue glass thing I found at Goodwill? About 5 inches high with a hole in the top. It looks kinda like an ant moat for a hummingbird feeder. That is a whale oil lamp. Hand-blown glass. Very odd blue color. Not cheap. What is this sliding tray with holes on both sides of this sofa? It's a thin sliding tray with holes, and there's exactly the same on the other hand of the sofa. I also have two matching chairs that both have one of these things on each side. A tray table. It has another piece to it. It's a tray with matching pegs. The tray goes on top and the pegs slide in. They fit together so the tray sits tightly. Then you take the tray back to the kitchen and put the sliding part back. So it's not in the way. Thumb protector possibly, but for what? Found at a yard sale. This item is composed of interlocking metal wire that is movable. Almost in a way of normal metal chains, but instead of a closed ring. It goes down into two loops that interlock the next piece, like chainmail. Has a leather strap with belt-like closures that would fit nicely around the wrist. The metal bit is 5 or so inches long. It's 1800s butcher gloves or oyster gloves. It is used for protecting users against sharp objects. What are these little specks on my bed? Every time I dust them off, they reappear within two hours and I have no idea how. They just kind of spawn. It's really grossing me out. It looks like termite frasser poop. It's likely they are eating the wood beams in your ceiling and have made a hole through the non-wood material of your ceiling to have a place to dump their poop. You should get the place inspected as soon as possible. What is this thing used for? A book with black blank pages alternating with thin translucent pages. This is a hardcover book of approximately A4 size. The cover does not have any Google Able info, except for the brand Corbin and Blair. 
I googled the company and they make notebooks, but only normal looking ones, none like this. The back cover is blank. It's a photo album. You stick paper photos on the black pages. The transparent pages are for protection. What is this big round well type thing in the middle of the women's restroom? It's in an older bathroom and it doesn't seem to have any water running to or from it. Just a big cylinder with a drain in it. It's a sink for washing your hands. You step on the ring to start the water. Maybe it's an old installation and they removed the plumbing from it. What are these sets of seven dimples on styrofoam? They are all over this styrofoam toy plane. They seem like manufacturing artifacts, but what are they? Why are they all over every surface, evenly spaced? The little seven dot marks are steam injection points. Small granules of plastic are pre-treated with steam in a large hopper, which causes them to expand into little foam pellets. These foam pellets are poured into the mold, and then additional steam is injected in causing the pellets to swell even more, until they completely filled the mold. I found a large metallic cylinder on the beach of Husevik, Iceland. What is this? It is completely sealed with a lot of knobs that were probably covered. We asked around, and it turns out that these are submarine detectors called sound surveillance system. Nothing to worry about. We have spoken with a local. There are many found around here, and they are not dangerous. What is this small plastic pouch with red gel and a metal disc inside? Dimensions are approximately 8 cm long and 3 cm wide. I found this inside a drawer in my parents' house. No one knows what it is or how it got there. The pouch is soft and flexible and is filled with some kind of gel or liquid. The oval disc inside is made of metal but doesn't look valuable at all. It's a reusable hand heater. You can click the metal piece, and it will start a chemical reaction and heat the pad. After use, put it in boiling water to reload. What is this drain in front of the door of this house? Living in snowborne areas. I never saw a drain like that anywhere. Does anyone know the purpose? It doesn't appear to move or anything. It's just a grate in front of the door, I assume for drainage of some sort. It's a boot scraper to kick snow off your shoes. What is this thing? Several surgical instruments were found nearby, but it might be not related to them at all. It is likely from USSR or a post-Soviet country and resembles a medical instrument. That is a rare 19th century antique medical instrument used to assist in the birth. This object is a glass balloon in a wooden frame. Glass columns on the right are connected and could be filled with a liquid. It was found in the Institute of Physics and wasn't used for decades. The frame has a width of 60 to 70 centimeters. Any hints are welcome. Tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.